by the virus, then uh, it is always key for us to keep updated in terms of the various skills that one can do when situation is like this, because it's not it not be healthy that we get so much intimidated by this virus without us doing doing anything. So then, hence, uh, I thought it 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 be very important for us as the youth of this country or of, as the citizen of the country to engage ourselves much further in terms of empowering one another, you know, uh, so that we can uh, we can be ready when the situation will be right. The situation when it's right must find us ready, you know. So therefore, that's why I decided to have some session like this, and I'm hoping that majority of us will in the future do this for ourselves so that we can help one another. But I think maybe before we can really dwell much in terms of what we will be focusing on, we should then uh, you know, pay tribute to those who lost their life due to this COVID-19. We say, may their soul rest in peace. And indeed, for those who are at hospitals and at homes, who are you know affected directly by this virus, we wish them the 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 speedy recovery. And some of us who we still may not you know uh, affected by the virus, we we must really take care of ourselves. We must always play safe. We must wear our masks at all times. We must social distance and indeed wash our hands regularly. As the government and the, who you know, uh, guidance. So now the session really is about the, the data analysis using Excel, because my view is that every career, every industry, we use the data in respect of whether you are engineer, you are administrator, wherever health sector, wherever you are, we always find ourselves working with the with the with the data of the first exercise is to say, let's make S is to be the same as uh, to be. So that's where the formatting comes in. I know it's a basic thing, but I thought that maybe just for us to you know, uh, get, get, get into, into the feel, feel of things, let's, let's do this. Let's, 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 let's start with this one. So there's no formula, right? Or the way in, term, in terms of how do you start it. But maybe what we can do perhaps is let's start to understand, let, let maybe let, let's start from the, bottom down right so you can see at the bottom we have a title and then we have the picture right what maybe we can do first list is, is that just to see how is the the title looks like what, what is what are, what, are, what are the attributes of this of this title so we can see this title right it is a match is a matched cell the cell from c to i right it says it is within this cell is a match match cell right so from c to uh, to I. And another thing that we see with this is that if the, the font is a Calibri, right? And then also the font size is 22. Remember, we just take this so that we can go and do them at the other side. And another thing we see is that because it's a match cell, it's also is bold. It's also uh, is bold, right? If you see, you can see B here is active. It means that this is a, is a bold. Has been all is bold, and then it also is not at the center of the of the cell, right? It's more on the right, the right and bottom, right? But is aligned to the to the right and also at the bottom. Not, for example, not at the center, not at the top, but is at the bottom. Uh, but 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 is it is uh, at the at the bottom, right? So we are going to to check with that. Other thing that maybe perhaps we can check is what is the width of this column? No, I mean a height rather. What is the height of this column? To find that using the the, the Excel, we'll just go to we still are at the home, as I said. The home is that's where we get the basics, that's where we get the the the, the teachers have all the basic stuff. We go to home, it's under the cell, we go to the format, and then we just click the arrow there, we go to the row height, it will show, it will tell you to say. The height of this row is 99, right? That's one, that's one thing we can see there. And then other important thing also that we see is that 
the the background color is more like brownish right we will just check the the, the thing there is a more brownish is that the right hand side and then the other thing is that this data that we have here it starts from b2 as i said b is a column and then the number is a, the number the number is a row so meaning it's not is that a cell b2 right meaning the column A is empty and the row one is empty, right? So we we'll just need to verify from our end there. And then this picture, the picture is in what? In which cell? It's in B2. So I think I think that's those are the basic things. So when, after we've got this data, I'll suggest that we just go to our SEs and then we do that. Just start the task that you just said, right? So I said this is the basic thing that let's start from there so that we build a good foundation for ourselves, right? So what we see, what we said that is that the, the, the center, I mean, the, the title is between C and I, right? It's matched, it's a matched cell between C and I. So to match the cell, to match the cells, you just highlight them, you highlight the cells, you just select them, and then you go to alignment, you match, right? That's the first requirement. Now the cells are matched. But what we see there is the cell, it, this one matched and put it down on the center, but our requirement is say it should be aligned to the right, right? Under alignment, I mean in alignment, you just hover along all those all those ones. You'll see the one saying align the thing to the right. You will just align it, align it there, right? Other thing that we saw from there, we said that the size of this is what is is was 22, I think. Yeah, was was uh, 22. And then uh, the, the font is the uh, calibre is fine, right? The other thing is that we said that the, the height of this row is, 20, is 99. How do you do that? We said we go to the cells, we go to the format, and then we say row. This one is 28.5, but in our case, we are looking for 99. That's what we do. We do like that. And then now we also take the, the our picture is on B2. We just take the picture, we put it on uh, B2, right? But you see that this picture is, is, is bigger than the cell, right? How do you increase the cell? What do normally we do is we just, uh, between anywhere between the, the columns, in our case, let's say B, 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 C, right? You just double click on there, right? It will, it will, it will put the, the, Okay, thank you, thank you, Mele. So yes, I will be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be slower. Sorry. So uh, yeah, I'll start to be slower here, right? So now I'm saying, let let me do this. Right. So what do we do now is let's start here. Yeah, we are here. We're saying now the cell, the, our title, our title. We said the title size the font size of this is 222 to get this to get the size you go under font you select here right and then you select the 22 that's the font size when you hover on it i think it should tell you that this is a font size yeah it say uh, it will tell you it's a font size see font size right it's written font size so font size is 22 and then the font but the font type, I used to say is a font type, is a calibre, is the same as the other side, right? I think we are clear there. Now, I said that now, we said, what is the height of this cell from this side, from to be? What, what was the height? The height was 99, right? And then I'm saying, how do we increase the size of the, uh, what do you call, of the, of the cell? So I said, you go, we still under home, you go to cell, right? And then you go to format. I, 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 I still think that even if you are using a, a other 2013 or other versions, I think it should, it should still be the same, yeah? So you click format, you click the row height. Remember, we are, we are looking for the height. So this one is telling us, this is 28.5, but we are looking for 29. Remember I said, we are making our, our S is to be the same as S is to be the same as to B, right? So we just say 99, and then we, we click here, 
So meaning now we've got the right height we are looking for, yeah? And then I said that now, maybe we can start like this. Now, if you see now, you see the sales person, right? It's not clear, it's not visible. This means that the size of the sales person is uh, smaller than the, the, si the size of the text. So to, to increase this one, right, with Excel is easier. If I want to increase this size, the, the cell size, you just go between B and C, yeah? You, you just hover uh, between it, you'll see this uh, arrow, you just double click on it. When you double click it, it will automatically, you know, expand the cell to the correct size. That's what is happening here, right? And you can you can continue doing this. But at times, for example, if you see it, when you get the when you see the hashes like this, it tells you that you have a number, but that number does not fit in this cell. Therefore, what you need to do is you might just keep you know expanding it. Let's see D between D and D D and E. When you expand it, it will see it. Right? But remember, you, if maybe you're having a couple of them, there's a short, short way of doing it. What you do is to highlight the whole sheet. You just go between one and A there at the top here. You just click on it once. If it's highlighted, then you'll just go anywhere between these uh, uh, columns. You double click it, and then it, it will show you everything. Yeah? I believe we, we should be fine there. Now, Let's talk about the picture. Our picture, we agree that the picture is between, is in, in cell what? B2, B2, yeah? And then we must just, you know, uh, put this picture nicely within this cell. Yeah? Nothing complicated here. I think nothing much fancy, right? So we can see now at least we put, we can put it nicely. Remember, it's just need to be similar. It doesn't have to be the same, same just to be dissimilar to that, that the other sign. That's what we have, right? Now, we have this. We have the title, we are happy with it. It's a 22, is it the same, and then the font is, is cool. But now, we talk about the background color. The background color is more, it was more brownish, right? So, what we can do there is, you must just, we to, to, to get the background, you are, you're still going to font, and then you must, check something called the fill color. Fill color, it should be this one. Fill color, color color the background of, of the cell to make them stand out, yeah? And then this is the text one. So what you do normally to know what is the function of this button, you just hover on it, it will tell you what that's all about. So in our case here, we go to uh, fill a color, you just select any color that you want. I, I can say, just take any color that, that, that you like, but, my, but maybe in our case, we'll just go for this one. Because I think it's called the 10-T-A-N, and then, and then the, dark, the percentage there is 50, right? We just select this one. We can select, we can select whatever, whatever for your own. You are, you are, you are for, for what, whatever, what, whatever you, you, are, you are looking for, right? We select this one. And then you will see that I think it starts to be to look more or less the same as this one, right? You can see this one is darker. We can then select another one which is more darker. Is twenty five percent? You click on it, right? Maybe we have something like this. So you can see from the logo of our company and the and the title. I think we met all the requirements the same way as on to be, right? Now, what do we need to do is we check on to be again. And when we check here, we check this uh, column headers, this, uh, this title, right? We can see that their, their text color is white, yeah? That's something that one can just, just take note of. It's the white, and then the background is also brownish. I'll call it the, I'll call it the brownish, right? So let's, let, let's just deal with this with these two. And then we can see the, the text size or font size is 11. And then of course the font is still the same, is, is a calibre, right? We go here, 
we check, we found that in our case here, the background is white, but in our case, the background should be the brownish, right? Where do we go? We go to the, to the fill color, that's where we go, and then we select whatever the color we are looking for. Let's go for this, let's go for this um, darker one, right? We click this one. Then you can see, I think we met the color requirements, right? I believe everyone should be, should be happy with that. So now what then we do is, they are saying the, the, the color of the text, color should be what? Should be white. Where do we go? We go to under font, we go to the uh, font color, then we, we select, we said we select what? We select white, right? And then we'll find white here. White background, we, 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 we do, yeah. I see there's a hand, uh, let me do this here. Where is the hand? I just want to give her. Am I mistaken? I think I thought I saw a hand, someone maybe with the. Oh, no one. Okay. So then let me just unmute and then if someone will. Yeah. So are we following colleagues, friends? We can just raise the hand. We're still fine. Okay, great. So I'll just uh, mute here, and then I'll allow you to unmute yourself, right? So that's where we are, right? Now, other thing that we see now is that, I think we are done with that. Now what we see here, this from our end, we are, we are, we are having the numbers, but these numbers now they're in, in, in the, in the, in the, in the, in, in, in it's a currency, it shows like it's a rent, right? And then it's having a decimal numbers of two. But in our case here, we, we have the typical numbers. This is just a number without decimal, without even the letter R at the beginning to show that it's a currency. And another thing that we see is that these numbers, they are under, there's a two lines under, under them, right? They're underlined by two double lines, yeah? And the other thing is, we can see this table of hours, is there is a, of course, yes, yes. The, the, the logo, you can do whatever thing you like with the logo. You can, you can, you know, uh, uh, you can move it anywhere. That's why I said, we just want this to be more or less the same as this, just to convey the concept, to say how this concept of formatting work, but you can do whatever you like with it, right? So that's what, that's what, that's what, that's what this is, this is all about. Now, we are saying, we are having the number here. This now it said, change this into the currency to be the currency because this is a sales number. Change this, to, change this to the currency, right? We are going to do that. Remember, you know, just take note how to do the currency, right? And then other thing that we see is the currency must also, because this is a currency, it's a rent and cents. So put the decimal, two decimal places so that the, these two decimal places represent the cents, right? In our case. Right, and then also, this we must underline them. These are just a few numbers. The question now: How do you do? How do you put the currency on this? Anything with Excel, what you do is you must highlight or select where whatever you want to work on. In our case, we want to put the rent. We need to put the currency on top of this number. You must highlight them first. Right? I'm hoping everyone can do that. We do. We do this. Yeah. After you select this one, we must go to the number and we are still under home. When you go to number, you will see, just hover around this, you will see one saying accounting number. If you need a percentage here, and then if you need the comma, if you need to decrease or increase the decimal, that's what you are, you are going to talk about. Now in our case, we need the accounting number. You click on it, and then boom, voila. You can see that the, the R, is for rent, is for, is for in our case. But as I said, in Excel, there's different ways. I don't really prefer this one. I like the one of, you come to the data that you selected, you right click, yeah? 
you right click and then you go to the format cell. You right click, you go to the format cell. And then from there, you'll see you have a currency. You have a different numbers. This can be represented as a, as a number, currency, date, time. But in our case, we're interested in the currency. You just click the currency. By default, in most cases, it's a, uh, it's a what do you call it? It's, it's gives, it gives us the rent, right? And then the decimal places is two. You can see you can decrease or you can increase your decimal places, right? From there, you just say enter. And then their number will be like this. It will represent this in terms of the of the currency. I believe we are we are still cool, right? Now, that's what you can do. Yeah. So if maybe you want to change this to to the dollar, let's see, it should be the same thing, right? You can go here and then you look for dollar. You can see it shows the the different currencies, right? That we can use the check US, United States here, and then if you use the dollar, you can do the same, it's changed to the dollar. Whatever the currency we are looking for. But I think uh, to be fair to ourselves, uh, we should just use the, our rent, although maybe it's, it's, uh, it's suffering, but uh, this, is our, this is our rent, we are proud of it, right? So we, we are using the rent, yeah? So this is that. That's way. That's what you get. It's two decimal places. I don't know for whatever reason, right? Maybe if they ask you to say no, I want one decimal place. One decimal, decimal place is the number after the comma. If one say, you know what, I want one decimal place. Maybe it's your manager, whoever, to say, look, I need report that shows one decimal place. You must just remember that you get that under number, and then you have this here. If you want to decrease the decimal, decimal place. You'll just check if you click one, you'll see one zero will go. If you want to increase this side, you can click for whatever reason. If maybe they want three decimal place, remember if you maybe you don't you don't necessarily represent the the currency. Maybe this number represent the centimeter or whatever the case may be. You can still increase your your uh, decimal places, right? That's what you can do. There. So our data looks like this. One other thing that you said is that these numbers, they are underlined, right? You select them, you want to underline them. And then it's a text. Most of the time, is most of the time, uh, if something is a text, you know, you always, it always most of the time deal with font, right? So you will go to font. Most of the other thing is, instead of maybe right clicking, if you want to go to the font, you can just, under phone, you can just click this arrow here. It will take you to the setting of, of uh, the, the, that, in our case here is a font. If you want the settings of alignment, you will just click at the corner here, and then you will see it's going to give you the option. So in our case, if you click here, it will take you straight to the font. And then as I said, you can see the font, it's saving the size, it's saving the font to say what kind of, the font is that is showing you the color, right? And then this is a preview of how it would look like. Then in our case, we are in, we are interested in what in the underline, yeah. And then underline is what is two. We said it must be two lines. So what we do is that we go, we come here, we double click. We mean you you select, and then you are interested in what in double lines. You just uh, select the double. You will see one preview. It will show you okay. You will have whatever the number is or the item is, right? And then you're going to have a two decimal places. And then your size will be 12 and it will be regular, no italic, no bold, no bold and italic, right? So that's what you do. You don't, you don't, you know, strike through this. You're not interested in that. So we just say, okay. And then boom, voila, that's what you get, yeah? So that's the basic thing that you need to, to do, yeah? So if you want to take it back, you say, same, same thing, you just click that, you are on the font, yeah? You can see this is a cell format, right? This is the, these are all the options that we are having here. As I mentioned, right? You see the font is here, the alignment is here, the number is here, 
uh, we have a style. The style, but it's not here. But we have a, uh, we have a, we have the cell there. So this is the other quickest way of, you know, just finding these ones. So if you don't want it, you come back. You say none. Yeah. That's that. So we have we are having this. Maybe we may be saying, look, maybe I need to increase the size of this, of these values, right? The other way is that you can select one, right? And then what you do is, uh, let's do this. Let's let, let's say we need to give the the back the this cell the background of green, for example, right? How are you going to do that? You select the cell, the cell, and then we go to the uh, fill color, because the background, right? And then we click here. Let's say which one is green? Is the blue this thing? This is what? This is light green. Let's say we put, we give it the light green, right? This is just this is just an example. We click on it. It's like this. But now we say no. I want to. I want. I want this. I want to have this color everywhere, everywhere here. Excel. It's, I mean, there's another cool function they call the format format painting, right? Format paint with format painting is that if you are saying I want all other numbers to be the same as cell C4, cell C4, yeah. What you do is you just click that cell, you click on a format painter, and then you will now start. Uh, wherever you want this behavior, you can, it's more like you are you are you you are you are copying the behavior or the characteristics of this cell to others. So you select it, you go to format paint, you will see you have a, this brush like this, right? And then you will you can then click there, hold hold it, and then you go like this. Boom, voila! You you are you then you get the the behavior. Let me go back again. So you're saying you have this. And then you don't want to be doing one one, right? You don't want to be doing one one. What you do is you click on it, you go to uh, Format Painter, and then you will give you this, and then you just drag. You just now drag it, click, but you don't release. You drag, 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 drag. Boom, voila! You get this. So that's the beauty of the Format Painter. Instead of doing one one, you use a Format Painter. And then I'm hoping that this one, this ones you understand. If you want to cut something, cut. If you I'm, want to cut Monday, I'm cutting it. It's like you remove it and then you put it elsewhere. The difference between cut and copy is that copies make a copy, it doesn't take it. If I'm saying I want to copy this one, if say I want to copy this, you copy, you want to paste it here, you paste it here, you don't remove it. But the cut is like it's removing the copy, right? So I think we covered this majority of this thing. But from the to be, we found that there's a a thick line, this thick line here. I think that's the only thing that I think we left with, right? So we need to put a thick line here. What? How do you do that? You select where you want to put the th that thick line. In our case, we put the thick line across this table. Yeah. Now what you do then is we go under font, and then if you if you hover here, you will see this is a border thing. It's a border, right? And then in our case, we are looking for we are looking for the uh, thick outside, yeah? And then you just click this one, thick outside, you will see you having this, this line here, right? Let's see if I do have that thing here. Yes, other thing, other thing, you'll just tell me with a hand uh, if, if you have any question. Other thing that you see here, right? You are having this line between the month, this month, right? You are having the line. This borderline, you see this borderline, right? But in our case here, we don't have them. How do you do that, right? Line is a border. It's more. It's something to do with the border, right? So then, what we'll do is that uh, we will then. Uh, oh, we are this uh, S is right. We need to put the border here. You can hear. Can you hear me, colleagues? I see uh, Tabi so say you cannot hear me. I can hear you. Oh, thank you. Now, so 
we need the board, we need the lines between this. Remember, this is just to make this thing more lookable, right? Nothing much fancy. We didn't start talking about the analysis, right? But we just want some, to do something presentable. Because I think we need the combination, right? I believe like, entrepreneurs will know, or people who do presentation network or whatever they do presentation, this two goes in line, right? So that this, this exercise is just to make things lookable, whatever you, 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 you prefer. So in our case, we said we need these lines here. We need this, we need these lines here. Yeah. These lines between the months. We come here, we select them, and that is more to do with what with the font. I mean, sorry, with the border, right? Then we go to, as I said, there's a different ways. You can see there's a different ways, right? You right click, you go to the format, or you come here, or you come there. So you have a couple of options, right? So in our case, we click here, we go to the border. Yeah. What we do now is we must select the, the line. The first, time, the first thing is the line style. Which one do you like? I really want to give you that to you, colleagues, friends. I said that colleagues means friends, means brother, means everything. I'm used to this colleague, colleague thing, right? So in our case here, I like to do the, the, the right way. I'm, just, I'm going to select this line. That's the first exercise, you select the line, right? You want to give that the color in our case no we don't we don't want to do that then now here you can see the border this is the text 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 we what what is this text this text is this numbers then we are saying where do you want to put this line in our case we said we want to put this line what this is this is this is what is a vertical right yeah we put them vertical vertically and between them you click again you click again yeah we don't want horizontal if you don't want the line you just tap, click again the line will go away yeah so in our case we said we need the vertical lines it will look like this if you want to take it we take you could you take it one we click it again we do like this right and then we just click boom voila that's what you get so the, the exercise this exercise was just is just pure about formatting how can I format this thing to be more lookable, right? Tomorrow, Monday, you are sending some report to someone else, you need the funding and whatnot. I'll, I'll be very disappointed that after this session, you, you, you can see, man, sometimes at wherever work or whatever, you see some of the reports that are very disappointing, right? Sometimes just put something catchy, and then before even they can you know, go deeper in what the details is about. Put something that is very more appealing to, to the people that can get interested to say, what this guy is talking about, right? So I'm hoping that after this session, you should be in a position to know how to format things. It's, remember, it's not the right or wrong, right? Whatever you prefer, I think is still is still very cool. So this is the this is what this is what we having with I'm having with regard to the first exercise where we were saying make to be make as is to be like to be. <laughs> yeah, um, these are the names of the of the those sheets, right? S is and to be. So if you can see, I think S is is more appealing, even maybe now than the than our to be, right? You can do whatever, whatever thing you are looking for here. You can decide that you are going to put this this one. You, you are going to underline this. How to underline this? Or I don't know if it will be more visible because. You underline, you see, underline is you, under format is underline, right? If you maybe want it to be italic, you just do it, it's like that. You want to increase the size, you come there, right? Other way of increasing the size, in, instead of coming, clicking here, and then whatever the case is, you just use this, this ones here. You can say increase the font size, and then you decrease. If you want to increase the font size here, you select the, the you, you, you select the, the what do you call it? The cell, and then you just comes here, and then you just click, just click, click, click up until whenever you get satisfied that this color is what you look, and then you see it will be increasing here, yeah. Whatever you want, if you want to increase, that's what you do, yeah. And another thing is that you can put, if you want to be fancy, I don't know whether it's, that that is very uh, that is very safe or not, right? If you want to you want to put your 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 text. In there some direction. I don't know for what you who want to be charm, who, who you'll be wanting to charm, but you can do whatever you want, right? 
whatever the case is, but you can see this is not really that. Uh, uh, you can do something like this. You can play with this thing and then do whatever you want. Yeah, but uh, you see some of these things, there are cases where maybe they are relevant, but there are cases where they are not. So you can do whatever you whatever you like, right? And then uh, let's just go back to our. Uh, it should be what it should be it should be horizontal, right? You see now, which one? Which which one was that one? So we need to put the. Uh, This is okay. We need to take it back now. How do you do that? Right? You see, that's that's one of the things, right? So we can uh, horizontal. Let's see. I thought there is a default here where you can take this to. You see, do you see what you, do you see what I'm seeing there? When you increase this thing, when you increase when you increase the this, where the text you see how how the text looks like. When you say zero, do you see here? You can you can use these arrows here to do that, or you can increase it here. If I believe it's uh, this will be 90, 90 degree. Let's go. Let's see what. Yeah, I believe it will be ninety. Yeah. This will be ninety. Oh yes, it's ninety. It's more like you know. Remember, okay, let me not complicate it, right? But what you do is you must be zero so that you can be you can be you know, horizontal. Yeah. I'll read, I'll read, uh, and then we put it. Let me just put this in where, where we were. So, is it possible to make, to maybe move my sheet to? Okay, is it possible to maybe move your your sheet to start in a different cell? Maybe in this case, make it. This is my limit. Can I just? Uh, can you? Can you just say? Uh, explain it please so that i can understand oh, all right um what i'm trying to say is like you see now our our spreadsheet starts on b b2 yes yes, there. yes yes so maybe move it now i don't want it to start there anymore i'm moving it to start maybe at c at c yes so there are a couple of ways right so let's let's try this so if you right click insert Boom, voila. It said C. Yeah. Or let's let's do it again. So there are a couple of ways we can do it. So if you want to move this, you can just right click. I mean, you can just highlight on top of B, right click, and then you insert. So meaning you are saying, I don't want you here. I want to insert the new row here on B. Everything should move to B. Is that what you're asking? Yes, yes. Th yeah. Thanks. So, and or other ways, there are always just different ways. So we just said this one is a long way, but you just you will just highlight this data here. And then maybe you cut. I don't know whether that is really, you know, you cut, and then you're saying, I want this data to come here. But I think that the easiest way is the, is the one that you just did. You just insert, just insert it, and then it will move where, wherever you want, you want to take it. Yeah. So that's what that's what we need to do. Remember, we must increase this something like this. Yeah. So if you have any questions regarding the format, and then we will we will then uh, quickly maybe answer the questions there. Unfortunately, I think as I said, we didn't want to take anyone away. I thought everyone should be understanding this thing so that when I want to talk about formulas and all those fancy stuff, 
but at least we're having fundamentals, right? So is everyone happy here? Yeah. So just just by hand, please. Are we are we are we fairly okay? Yeah. All right. Now let's do this one. Let, let, let's, let's now, now we are, this is presentable, but then what? It's useless sometimes something that's uh, presentable, but it doesn't, doesn't add any value, right? So that's why maybe that analysis comes in. So this is a COVID, COVID sales data. Someone say, you know what? The, the target for each of these sales is, a, is a, as I mentioned the, on the question, is 5,200. Can you show me those, those individuals who met the target? Or can you show me the values and the months where the, the target has, has met, they met the target, right? So in this case now, uh, I will, can I, let me just take this. I, I like it, but I don't really like it. Let me take it out. I just want this thing. Now, so someone saying, you know what, Motlogwe? Can you show me the people or the, uh, yeah, show me the people who met the target? Our target is uh, whatever the number is, right? I said in our book, and then in my our question, we said this 1,000, I mean 5,200, right? Can you show me those people or the numbers? Then you should now think like, oh, now this, this person is talking about the conditional formatting. And then as I said, anything that you do with Excel, you must highlight whatever, wherever you want to do whatever, whatever function, you want to apply the function, right? So in our case, someone say, who met the, I mean, which values here? Or question, yeah, you can be people that can put that differently, right? Can you show me uh, the values which you know are there are more than five thousand two hundred? Because that's where uh, this is the target. And in other ways, it means that can you show me the people who met the target? Which months? I mean, uh, was 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 it right? So then in our case here, we, we select the thing, then we go, that's where the format, the conditional formatting comes in, right? So we have this here, and then you will be, you are having different options. You'll have a highlight cell with the different rules. And okay, okay. so what you do, Remember, my colleagues, this is just this is just a picture, right? You just hold, you hold on, you just uh, click on it, hold, and then you just you can drag it wherever you want to drag it. You see, right? So I'm I'm I'm, I'm answering a oh yes, yeah, yeah. I'm answering it. So you just click, you just this is just a picture, just like if it's on uh, wherever. And then you just do it. You just you can put it wherever, yeah. But I still prefer it here. The picture you can just do whatever you, you can hold it here, hold it there, hold it, hold it anywhere, yeah. So that's that one. So are we we are saying someone saying I need to know people are uh, show me show me show me the any value that is greater than this meaning those who met the target. So in our case here, you have all these things, but this one will be more, because we are looking for something greater than, for example, greater than, then you click here, then you put that value here. In our case, we are looking for the target, our target is 2,500 per month, it is expected from everyone. So you highlight the whole data, and then you go to conditional formatting, you select the, those rule there, and then you set the greater than one. What was the color that they said you must select from the, from the, from the that question? What was the color? I see, I, I, I see uh, my, my, my is, uh, the mic is on. What was the color there? I'm talking about this, this colleagues, where is that? I'm talking about this, you know, this colors, this one here. Yeah, so the color, you see, the color is said the yellow, right? I'm answering these questions, right? 
Oh no, this sorry. The second question. The sales target for each salesperson is this, right? Sure, those who met the target, the color should be green. Yeah. So this is the we we select. We go to conditional this, we select the highlight and sales rules is a greater than we said is what is five. This we select it should be what it should be green. Yeah? Boom, voila. So from here you can see that uh, who performed well. As a decision maker, you know. Okay, I think uh, no hacking. She did very well. Isolate. Yeah, no, I'm coming to it. I'm coming. I'm coming to it. I'm coming to that one. I just thought because I was talking about the. I'm talking to Chain now. I'm coming to that question. So, uh, I'm talking. I was talking about the targets and all that. So, so you can see isolate. I mean, also it did very well, and then con contact contact trace. Uh, they did very well, and then the question is who who did not do well. Then you can see, of course, you can see by the name, stay home. She really stays home, right? So she's not do that very well, right? So, and another thing is someone can ask which months you guys are, did, you are doing well. By looking at this, you can see that October, you guys are doing very well. So conditional formatting is just helps you to make, check those trends or, you know, some interesting facts around your data so that you can able to make some decisions. Maybe, you know, stay home may need some extra training. I don't know for whatever reason it is. And another thing you can see that August and July and June, you do not meet the target, right? So as a decision maker, uh, you should be in a position now to be saying, what then? What happened here, right? The end of toward the end of the month, the sales are good, but then in July, June, and August, we didn't even meet any target. So then you answered such questions, right? So going back to the first question, then now other question, and then, okay, let's do this. And then if you want to clear this one, now you are happy, you say, okay, you can copy this to elsewhere, yeah? To see, okay, these are the, my values. Now you want to clear this one. You just come down here, clear, and then let's say we clear the entire sheet. Yeah? So then we go to the first question. First question is saying, this, they just want to check uh, who made the lowest month sales in the history of these guys from May up until October. Who got the lowest number? And then in, in this case, they say that we're just looking for the bottom five. Okay, can we maybe? Yeah, I will. I will. We'll come. We'll come back to the formatting part. Let's just maybe deal with this one. Yeah, let's let, let's deal with the let, let, let's deal with these questions, and uh, we will we will then talk about the formatting again. I'm talking to yeah, right. So let's let's do that. So they are saying show us the the lowest numbers here, the lowest sales, but we only we're only looking for five of them, the lowest ones, the bottom ones. So the Conditional formatting is going to help us. You can see there, this one helps us to find top and bottom, right? So in our case here, we are looking for bottom item. Although here it's saying 10, but we can able to want to uh, change it. We put it, it's saying five, because we are looking for five. These are the people who do really their badly. Maybe because of the territory that they are working on, what, what you know? So then we are saying we must put it yellow. Remember, if you this talk, you might you want to change the color. The color that you like is not here. You can just click on the custom format, and then we go to really light yellow to really show them these guys are, are struggling, right? And then we just do this. Then from the there you can see who's struggling, right? Indeed. This 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 one is complying with all the rules. Stay home. He was really just staying home. That's why you can see he's really uh, struggling. He's not really doing well. well. And then which month with those ones is the August and June. No other month. So therefore, obviously you need to have put this in your context, right? 
you must know your data, what you are looking for, and then you will, these tools will help you to uh, uh, to answer those questions. And then how many people are struggling? PPE, and then a Tendani, Garabo, and then, uh, you know, Bongani. Those are the people, right? So that's what, that's what, that's what, that's what, that's what, that's what uh, I wanted to do. So colleagues, it's, it's four o'clock. I'm not sure whether I still have a 15 minutes if maybe you guys are still willing to, to proceed. Can you just show me if you still want to proceed for the next 10 or five, 10 minutes so that you can finish these questions? Are you fine with this? Proceed, sir. Okay, great. So, uh, this this was number one. Okay, thank you, uh, Madhuvul. Madhuvul, I think she she she's great. So now, the third question, right? It was saying the president of this business. Uh, yes. My apologies, man. Um, just before you move from question one, change here. Yes. Um, the same question, eh? Can we answer it? But instead of changing the color of the whole cell only change the font color. The to, to, or, or to change the font color. Yes, yes. you're still answering question one, yes. but you don't, want, you don't want the whole cell to be yellow. Yes. You want the font to be yellow. The font to be yellow, okay. So we're here, we're here, I think, uh, no. I think there is a, let's do this. I think so. Let's say, uh, is it the manage? Let's create, let's create the new rule if I'm not mistaken, right? So let's say uh, this one. So let's say this and then is greater than, I think, I think there's a way, then you say format, eh? it's a yellow, oh, and then it should be the text, not the, the background. Let's see here if it's gonna work. Yes, I think there's a way that you can, you can do that. I want to pull this thing down. Let's say uh, the font here, I say yellow, yeah? So let's try this. I think it should be this one. So uh, this one should be what? No color, yeah? Let's see. So you see, it will be like this, ne? Let's see that. Which one did I? Let's do this. Let let I'm 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 doing the uh, 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 October the, this one. Yeah? I'm highlighting this one because it's, it's more than that. Yeah? And then we go to that new new. And we set this. I'm saying we can then do. We can say. If this one, if this is, is greater than, ne, you must put font, the color should be yellow, yeah? And then there's, you see, you see chain? Yes, I just selected the wrong color, I mean this color, but do you see the point I'm talking about? You can do it, yes. The question, uh, the answer is yes. You don't do, you don't put the, the background but you put the text but you must create a new rule because it's not part of the default okay yeah? um, looks difficult yeah but i think just that this time flies like nobody's business right but that's what you will you will you will just create a new rule and then you do that it's not part of the default but you can we can do this. So, but I think the session, colleagues, it will, it will, you know, be from your end if you want us to have another ones and all that. So yes, you can. It's possible. You just create a new rule.
then you give it. Yeah? Let's do number three, happiness. Yeah? Yes, so we do, we do, let's do number three. Number three, they are looking for the, more like a, what do you call the, the heat map. Yeah? Someone is, this one is, they say, is a, they need a graphical representation, right, of their sales data in, to, to easily see the trend of their performance. This, we're not interested in who is big, who is bid well, and but I just want to show, see, show me my the whole data, show me some pattern, what what what's happening there, right? So this one is also conditional formatting can do that for you. Then it's just two clicks, then you are you are there. You understand? This one is more greater than, less than. This is the you know a bottom, right? Data bar also shows you the highest and the lowest. Then this one is you can it shows you you can you can do on it. You're looking for something like this. It can show you the whole table to say what's happening around it. In our case, we are looking for this one, color scale, because we just need something to do with it, more like a heat map. By mainly looking at this data, you can see that, yes, August is red. Red means it's the slowest numbers. Né? August, we haven't been doing well, very well. October, we did fairly well. Actually, it was the best month. September is the second best month. Maybe May is the second best month because May does not have a lot of red. As much as it doesn't have a green, but it's, it doesn't have a lot of red, right? So from here, you can see, you know, uh, that is a heat map. But other sometimes maybe some people, they don't want these numbers. <clears throat> you can just say format, then you go to the numbers, I know, I know, I think I'm, I might be going fast, né? but then you just take this here and then you look something. Then this, this, this is the typical heat map. Then you'll be seeing that, you know what, this is what, uh, um, this is my heat map. And then from here, you'll be saying, you know, this month I'm doing well, this month I'm not doing well. And then who, who is struggling across the month looking at this data? You see? So it's something that you can do. Maybe you can see quarantine. He or she does not even have a lot of red, as much as this is a red, but it does not have. So it seems like it's the one maybe who's doing very well across when you, when you combine them, right? So that's more like the, that question, uh, question three. So is this, this one, color? This one, the beauty part of this one is, is highlighting your whole data, whereas these other ones, they are just, you are, they are more specific. Give me this set of data, give me this. But this one, you, you deal with it the whole, uh, you show you the whole data. So other thing is that, for example, this one, it says that the, the, the higher numbers, the bigger, the bigger numbers is gives green. Then the middle numbers is yellow. And then the lower number is uh, red. Maybe this one, you may choose this one for the other way around. To say, give the give the give the, the highest number red, and then the, the middle number yellow, the small number green. So just play with this. You highlight, highlight, and then you just play with this. Play with this to see how it looks, right? And then which, whichever you like, then you you just click on it. Yeah. So I will just maybe quickly do this one. Let's, let's do this one. And then even this one I think is fancy. So this one is that thing to say, which numbers, uh, uh, show me the number which, uh, the highest number, the middle number, smallest number. So you can select, you can do this, do this, see how it shows, how it looks like, right? If you click on this, you see it's like this. And then remember, as I said, if you see the hashes, it just says that the number is bigger than the cell size. So there's nothing much here. You, what you do, you just come here, as I said, click, and then you just, so that you can see. Now from here, you can able now to start uh, understanding that, oh yes, these guys, they did well, these guys did not do well, and what, whatever the reason may be, yeah? Happiness. And then, I mean, a uh, chain already asked, then yes, I, I wanted to say, if you want a new rule, something's not here, but you want to do, you just create a new rule. 
and then as I showed the previous one, yeah. So this is this is this is about uh, conditional formatting, and then I'm hoping that you guys, you know, sometimes maybe just take some notes here and there, and 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 and, and, and then it's just about you know clicking, clicking, and see what you what to come up with. But of course, the key is that highlight wherever you want to work on. Yeah, and then from there it should be you should be good, it should be it should be good to go. This is what we have, right? So this is the this is this is the end of the conditional formatting. I just wanted quickly to go to the uh, sort and filter. So at times, for example, someone will be saying, show the sales data where I got sale value are greater than this. This person is saying, I'm interested. I'm interested, I'm interested in the table, right? But, but the August value should be greater than 120. I mean, 1,200. In your mind, you must think of this, this person need the filter. And then filter, normally we get it in here from the data. To activate the filter, what do you do? You just click filter once, yeah? Click filter once, that's where you are. Now, the question now is that, show me those values that are greater than 1200 so just click on august that arrow now as i said august is having different ways so you may come here if you have a time to say oh is this value greater than one 1200 yes or no no you untick it but you'll take the whole year you don't have a time right time is money so what you do then you to come to number you filter by this so in our case, what do we are looking for? We are looking any number which is greater than, greater, greater than what? 1,200, yeah? <coughs> then do like this, boom, voila. That's what I will, I will, I will, I will, I will repeat again. We're answering number four. Number four, they are saying, show us the, this table, but show, but the August value should be greater than 1,200. It's a filter, you create a filter, you come here, and then I said you can select this thing is if you have a time. Antique, 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 but I'm not interested in that because we don't have time. So we just use the number filter, and then we do greater than, and then you write your value, the value you are looking for. Yeah? And then you'll see, oh, this is the thing. For whatever reason, maybe, maybe you know, for whatever reason, they, they're asking for this. You can ask any question whatsoever. Okay. Yes. Um, Chen here, sorry. Yes. Um, so the question is asking about August, but when you when you filter, yes. it affects the other the other um, columns. Yes, other columns. Yes. Why so is that? Yeah. So okay. So remember. Remember, it say so. It's just saying, I need to show show me this table, ne? but then that's where the but comes in. But the value of August, because it's interested with the August value, but the August sales numbers should be greater than one thousand two hundred. And then now it will select it will select the values which are which are more than that. For example, if it's, this is more than. Uh, if this value is more than 1,200, of course it will it will pull it will come with all these other related values for this month. Okay. Right. So or or if maybe if 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 you are saying I need only this, if you need only August, then you'll have to copy them elsewhere. So at least we have them here. Then you can copy. If he is just interested with this one, then of course you just copy and then give her or him these values, yeah? Then you say, this is your August values. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Happiness colleagues, friends? I think it seems that we still cool, right? I think that's, that's about, so someone can say what? Show me only the Monday guys. I want to see dips, the, the people who are off on Mondays, their values. And then we just do the same, you select Monday, boom, voila. 
These are the Mondays. These are the values across the month, but these are the guys who are off to on Mondays. Whatever the question is, yeah? That's, it. That's about the filter, right? Let's see this one. So this one is, uh, it says that, so the sales will sales by days of the week. Then we are using the days of the week is the day off, right? So how do you do that? I think that's where maybe I'll need to cut this thing because it doesn't like. Okay, let me do this. I think this way, do this, do this, right? I just want it to be, to be nicer like this. Now they are saying, can you sort this, this, this data by the, the days? Right? So for example, someone can say, no, I just want, for whatever reason, can you sort these things by sales? Can you sort the table by the sales name? And then you just sort this, then I'm saying sales by what alphabetically from uh, A to Z or Z to A, depending on what you're looking for. Most cases, you just say alphabetically, then boom, voila. Sanitizer, Carlson, and Tendani, whoever, then they come first, right? But our question here is the, can you sort this by name, by the date, by the days, right? So meaning it should be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, do, 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 do like that yeah so what you do then is you say you sort by this when you sort you just select anywhere doesn't really matter by default it will, it will select the, <clears throat> the, the, the the table the way you, you put it that's why in excel it's important that every column should be having the header so that you don't have to mix it up so in our case here we are saying we are looking for we must sort this in by the days how are you going to use it? Are you going to say A to Z? Let's try this. But you can see now this is uh, Dermaka, right? You see, it's, well, if you take it by alphabetic, because F comes before all these ones, whereas F, you know, in this case is represent Friday. It doesn't, it doesn't look nice, right? So what then you need to do is, <clears throat> you need to select here, and then you must go to custom, custom list. Custom list, there's already predefined uh, list that Excel created. And in our case, I think we are lucky that Excel already created this, right? You just select this one, and then you will go, and then boom, voila. Yeah? So it will create that for you. For example, if now, are, are we following friends? Hand? Just show the hand. Yeah. Okay, great. So that's what, then you will see now, this now is selected correctly. But sometimes we just like to, we just go, to, okay, can you see, uh, sort this? Oh, just no, we just, you, we are used to, it should be either the number or the alphabet. But at times you need the month to order by month, you need it order by the day, you need order by the t-shirt size, for example. Just yeah, that you don't have time here. You just create, maybe, you know, you can create something to do with it being a large, small, and, and all that. And then you must then, <clears throat> for example, if maybe there was a t-shirt, né? you will have to create a new list. You see, just a new list. And then you will say here, it must be small. The way you want, you, the, the way you want, you want it. Small, large, extra large, and everything. And then when you are going to see, they are saying uh, order them by the size, then you will see that list. So you, the point is that you can create your own sort list depending on the requirement. Yeah? So the, what was the other question? The other question was about, can you read for me if you guys are having lead there? Yes. Yeah. Show the sales total per days of the week, day off. Yeah. So this sales one. Total per day. Yeah. 
So this one, it says, now at least now we sorted this one, right? But now they're saying, okay, can you tell me uh, the totals of this, of the, of Monday across the month? How are these people who are, who are, what do you call, uh, are off on Tuesday, how are they doing? Can you show me their totals across the month? Yeah? This is what that's saying. Now, there's something they call it the subtotal. Subtotal under the data, we come here, it's more to do with the grouping and all that. It's like more, this is more like grouping, right? We group, group by days of the week. So I need to see the Monday here, and then you must able to sum all these Monday values, and then you hold them here, yeah? You must sum this so that to see to see in August, how are the Monday guys did? This is what this question really wants us to do. And then to answer this, we use the subtotal, something called subtotal, right? Per Monday, per, 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 the, per the, what do you call, the week of the, the day of the week, right? So we just say here, right? So, 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 then uh, we do this. So at subtotal, right? It say at each change in what? What this is, this, what this, this is saying is, you want to uh, group this thing by what? In our case, we said you need to group it by days of the week, yeah? What do, what, what are you looking for? Do you want to count one, two, three, how many people are there? Or, or, or uh, you want to sum, I said we need to sum, right? We need to add these numbers. Yeah? What do you want to sum? What do you want the subtotal of what? One subtotal of, of your month, of this month. Yeah? And then I think it should be like that. And then boom, voila. Do you see? I know, I think I'm going fast. Maybe next session we'll, we'll quickly, uh, we'll deal with it now. Next session, we will maybe deal with these ones. Remember when you see the hashes, it's just saying that the cell is smaller than the number. Nothing fancy. Ne? So you, you see this. So this one is telling you that Monday total for Aga, October is what? Is 80 something, meaning is, is, is is uh, sum these values. And then if you see, you can verify that. You sum this, you can see the number sum here at the end. Yeah? So now uh, you are having this thing here, one, two, three here. You see this one, two, three is the levels. Let's say, if you say level one, if you click on one, it will only, it will only sum the, the month, the October values, you see? So, and then if you say two, if you go to level two, it will sum by month. Colleagues at half past, I think we should be, we should be, we should be, we should be going. At least now we laid the foundation with regard to that formatting. Next time we'll do the extra stuff, right? You see? And then when you go to the third level, that's where it, it involves the, these fellows here. You see, who are those people? The first level, right? It says the month. You just say, give me the totals of the month. The second level is a per day, right? So you can sort, the sorting part is comes here or the filter. If you don't want, I say, just show me the Mondays only. You just sort them, and then you, okay. What, what, is, what is the story? Why Monday guys are having, why there's no value for Mondays? Let's do this. Okay, Monday is here, right? So if you just want to see, let's start again. If it's like this, this is a total August, October month. When we add the days, it will say Monday's guys, October, this was this. July, June was this, right? When we, the third level is when we add these fellows. Yeah? So, and then even we have this one here. You can select to say, 
I don't want to see this. 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 But uh, I only see the, 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 the Tuesdays ones. I'm going a bit fast, but this is what this is all about. And I think it's very uh, cool, uh, cool tool for one to use to manipulate the data, right? That's the, that's really the fancy around uh, around this Excel. You can we can do quite a lot of things before we can go to the click views, before we can go to this fancy uh, uh, other things. Yeah. I think we should start with the filter on our next session for clearly understanding. Okay, yes, filter, yes, uh, we can do that. So, any other question, colleagues? Any, any, uh, any comment? We have a three minutes. I just, I just need, need to gauge your, your, your feeling. Let's start chain. No question from me, Mutuagwe. I just want to thank you for, for the great session and it was very informative. Well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I see Eito Bejane. Uh, no, uh, I think everything is fine. We, we, we did understand that and I hope everyone did understand exactly what you've been saying. As hence, I'm suggesting that we should also start with uh, this part of filter so that we can understand it clear so yeah yeah let me see here mukari i'm just i just want to check i just want to get colleague friends the the feeling yeah i think i'm satisfied with the session looking forward to the next session okay let's let's go down let's go down down see abonga Uh, uh, Bonga, I wish us to hear what you what's your feeling. Okay, or who else? My power MT TM, yeah. I will feel you okay. Then is is that is that is that the feeling I'm getting, colleagues? All right. Okay. Okay, so statement. Okay, so I think we are okay, Mutu. I think uh, the silence means that everyone is okay. Uh, so yes, we're looking yes. forward for the next question. Great, great. So yes, I think let's start. Let's start from the filter next week. I think we are going to use the same data. Ask, I mean, uh, ask your friends, your colleagues to to be around. We are going to talk about the the formulas, the if sums, if sums, and. Uh, all those all those things right i think they are very key i think uh, in respect of which as i said in respect of which field you are in right the, you are working yeah. with the data so we should be then uh, we don't yeah, so, yeah, and, we, and adding to that Mutok, yes adding to that i think if anyone has maybe questions after this session they can just maybe uh just go to the facebook Mutok's facebook and also comment on that, then we'll be able to assist them where we can. Yes, yes. I'm hoping that the fellows from the Facebook, uh, our towers there, it seems like there were no, there were no questions there. But yes, this is yeah, the first were... session. We'll need, we are, we're really open to get the feedback from you, friends, so that you know, we can tailor this to your needs. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you very much. Then let's see each other next, next week, three o'clock, and then I think we should, be, we should be fine. Yeah? Take care out there. Yeah? Great. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.